Hi, this is Michael McDonald, and you're watching bloopers of, I don't know what you'd call that, but, well, I call it a job. And I felt my job at this point was to try and get Mo Collins to laugh. So I'm just staring at her like a freak and making fart sounds in her face. I've got her on the ropes. I know she's about to go. Maybe one more. Well, that's it. I am definitely... By the way, she couldn't say that line during rehearsal, even without breaking. I tell you, I am definitely going to have you test it. I am not hyper. This is take two. Yes, you are. And I figured I'd try it. You'll notice there's a slight difference in the leg action and the face. That's a crazier face. Just trying to, I'm not really acting, I'm just trying to make her laugh. And I'm also concerned about what might pop out of my shorts. The double leg action, trying desperately to get her. I've got her. She won't look, and that's why she won't look. not holding at all. And there and she was right. <laughs> and I gotta say you take more after me than your father. She's improvising right at me, trying to get me. I'm not that hairy. Good 50% of the stuff we tape doesn't really ever make it onto the show. And if I knew that you were coming, I wouldn't have fanny burped right where you're sitting. A fanny burp is a fart, according to my kindergarten teacher. I'm always trying to figure out what I just said. I didn't say fanny burp in the first take. This was the second take. Now you go and apologize to Mr. Muckenthaler, because that is horrible. <laughs> I'd sometimes you don't, Mo will crack herself up. I've been farting since we've been standing here talking. <laughs> this is what we like to call the brainy humor of our show. <laughs> well, so have I, but they're blending in, aren't they? <laughs> We're just improvising. There's really no script at this point. Paul's just waiting for us to shut up. I'm I want Mo to look at me because then I know I can get her to break. Don't you test my 12 steps. <laughs> now you go apologize to Mr. Muckenthaler. No, no, please. Talk about your fart some more. <laughs> I, I, I didn't come here to interrupt anything, Doreen. I'm just having such a wonderful day. They're, even your farting can't ruin it. It's like ambrosia to me right now. Mo's just busting up, looking at the floor. That's what I say. Now I want you to go on upstairs. <laughs> Mo's been breaking, mm, I don't know, for about five minutes solid now. Stuart, I want you to go on upstairs right now. <laughs> She's going back to her mark. She can try to get the line out. Mo and Paul know each other from a long way back. She is just torturing him right now. Whoa! No! <laughs> They're both, I wouldn't say they were classically trained actors, but they're having fun. Grab my shirt. You grabbed my shirt, you touched it. <laughs> it's alive again. <laughs> I'm just trying to get Mo to yell in his ear. So I just keep asking what.
<laughs> Finally, we got Paul. Next to the death of ten. <laughs> well, I was clearly expecting me to keep going, and I, uh, and I know that, so I won't. I can't see what's going on, so I'm just guessing at that point. I'm behind the stage. Oh, I can find our boxes of Vagisil! Boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. In the first take, it was Massengill. I just wanted to up it to Vagisil on this one. I couldn't know. I didn't know if I could say vagina or not, so I just, it just said Vag. And then, of course, Mo doesn't care. It's your vagina! <laughs> On my itchy! Okay. <laughs> now Mo and I are just teaming up to torture Paul. That's really all it's about at this point. Just taking care of the slum areas. <laughs> Mo, ever, ever the dainty one. I said, Stuart, I am on my way up. And... I'm getting a little itchy. This is, oh, man, Mo. And now, this is probably the end of about a 17-minute scene that was really, as written, was only five. And... We all know how to milk it, don't we? 